गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिकल क्लासेस बाय श्रीनिधि कुमार आचार्य डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड आल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू गिव योर वैल्यूबल कमेंट्स फ्रेंड्स एस वी नो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ संस्कार सीरीज ऑफ संस्कार वी आर डिस्कसिंग सिंस सो मेनी क्लासेस एंड इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन सम ऑफ द प्राशन संस्कार लाइक फल प्राशन संस्कार एंड अन्न प्राशन संस्कार so in this class we will discuss about another important samskara which is called as upaveshana samskara upaveshana samskara okay so procedure of upaveshana samskara usually this is done fifth month onwards fifth month onwards panchame masi punyehi dharanyam upaveshayet this is the explanation of vagbata whereas uh, kashyapa says shashte masi punyoh abhyarcha devataham dvijashyah bhojanena santarpyam so sixth month so there is no much difference fifth month maybe at the end of the fifth month he is suggesting and kashyapa says it is from the sixth month onwards so let us look into the details of this upaveshana samskara now this is a special procedure mentioned in kashyapa samhita wherein the infant is educated to sit with the support on the floor and the same is daily practiced for few minutes from six month onwards minimum time to initiate this procedure is sixth month now sitting means we have got two things one is sitting with support and sitting without support the first the infant will going to achieve sitting with support now previous to sitting child was crawling 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 means he is walking on the knees so before crawling he is on the stage of a creeping in the creeping what actually happens is in the creeping the abdomen and the leg portion knee portion and a hand everything is touched with the earth and child is just dragging the abdomen against the earth whereas or against the floor so whereas in case of crawling child is lifting the abdomen up and putting all the weights on the knee joint and the elbow joint and then it is moving so this is called as crawling next stage of the crawling is nothing but sitting now sitting with support then gradually child starts sitting by holding something or some of the furniture etc by holding it will now sit so this sitting procedure sitting milestone has to be developed by 6 month of age contemporary science says that sitting with support will be developed by 6 month of age so similarly ayurveda also says that the procedure of sitting is samskara where the sitting has to be practiced or whether the sitting has been developed properly or not we should be rechecked at the end of a, or at the beginning of 6 month so there is no confusion now how ayurveda do it in a different way it will perform a social function on that particular day and that social function will be utilized as to sensitize the parents and also to check or examine the milestone by the physician and for that they will do a social function so many relatives will be called and so many learned people will come they will give their expert's opinion and likewise the parents will take the tips and the child should will be managed likewise so what actually the religious procedure is on a fine day of shubha nakshatra karana of the 6th month a god, god should be worshiped with the oblations and dvija guru etc should be invited and that should be they should be satisfied by giving donations etc followed by swasti vachana and mangala karma etc this is a procedure religious procedure now what actually we have to do on that particular day in the middle of the home a square shaped structure which is smeared with the cow dung and water should be made as for the vastu now cow dung is act as a disinfectant and it also when you smear any ground with the cow dung the jala water of the water mixed with the cow dung it will prevent the dusting excess dusting will be prevented and it is also bacteriostatic and bacteria and disinfectant like actions so that area should be smeared with the gomaya and water and made at, and that per square portion should be done according to the uh, vastu procedure okay vastu procedure uh, where should be the direction and all those things accordingly it has to be made now around this structure the different materials like gold silver copper kansya uh, or iron loha then mani manikya mukta pravala avrihi and different types of cereals different types of eatables should be kept different eatables like milk curd butter takra etc should be also kept and some of the uh, mamsa the preparation should be also kept like veshavara etc apart from that honey gomaya gomutra it should be also kept in that particular square area there's a lot of materials will be kept in that square area 
okay which is prepared in the middle of the house now the square area which is smeared with gomaya uh, uh, is that area should be devoid of the thorns insect worms and uh, uh, it should be hygienic and it should be clean and even and such a area is selected for the sitting now in that square area we will go in to make the baby sit for the first time with support of course with support uh, officially officially we are initiating the developmental procedure of a developmental milestone of sitting to mark this situation to mark this occasion and this religious function has been utilized here in that square area where different materials has been kept so that should be very clean and in that square area square area for the first time we will make the baby sit with support and thereafter this samskara is only the indication of initial time of the sitting okay a prolonged sitting or excessive sitting uh, sitting uh, or sitting at once for a long time in a single attempt that may lead to so many problems to the baby it should not be done like that okay this is only to sensitize the parents and also for the examination of the baby uh, uh, against this particular uh, developmental milestone uh, examination baby whether baby has developed all the locomotor developmental milestones to previous to this properly or not that has to be checked suppose the baby is developing the crawling by this age now yes we can say that now this is the right time to initiate the samskara or a procedure of a upavesana where the baby is made to sit suppose if the baby is still still creeping it is not crawling then sitting should not be proceeded okay sitting, sitting, sitting should not be practiced because it may lead to so many problems because baby's developmental milestones are delayed okay so before this child would have been if it is having crawling then you can go for sitting with support if it is still on creeping you cannot go for sitting with support okay so therefore this is the importance of examination of the baby during this particular time okay so this procedure has been utilized to examine the baby also this procedure will be utilized to sensitize the parents regarding the uh, growth and development of the child if the child is lacking behind then parent has to take the necessary steps if it is okay then you can proceed okay <coughs> Um, this also tells us whether the baby is growing normally or not. So this should be gradually practiced. First day just practice for 10 seconds, then for 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes. Likewise, gradually 6 months onwards, you make the baby sit with the support. Then gradually baby develops sitting without support. Then gradually baby develops the standing with support. Then gradually baby develops the standing without support. Like this, the locomotor developmental milestones will go on increasing or developing so daily child should be made to sit for a stipulated time by observing the tolerance capacity and the duration should be increased likewise so this is the procedure of upavesana and now <coughs> these are the different uh, uh, materials that they have to kept and one more important thing that I have, they have told that complication of excess upavesana Okay, so Staimityam Katitarubalyam Prashtabangam Samojuraha Vinmutra Anila Samroda Admanam Chak Ati Upavesanat Asinasya Ati Balasya Satatam Buni Sevanat Asan Yeva Dukhani Nirghatam Gatra Vedanam Nighatha Jajarangatum Vedanaha Jurasam Bavaha Tato Na Vruddhi Balasya Katorangatva Mevachaha Makshika Kramikitanam Vila Jinjinala Sechaha Sarpha Kuladinam Gamyuho Bhavati Nityashaha Tasmin Ati Charam Neka Na Balo Nacha Rogitaha Upaveshu Bhaved Balo Na Punyaha Krutadikaha. So now this sloka explains the complication of excess sitting. Now, nowadays we have a tendency of putting the baby into the walker earlier. Okay, so this is also a type of sitting without support. Or sitting with support. You can say sitting with support. And it should not be kept in the walker too early okay so if you practice putting the baby in the walker or making the baby sitting for a prolonged time without gradually increasing at once you are increasing then there are a lot of complications and that complication has been listed as a ati upavesana janya complications okay uh, <coughs> we will see what are they now see sitting is not a simple procedure sitting needs the coordination of different muscles okay now for the sitting first of all head control should be there neck control should be there baby should be able to maintain the body in the midline and there should be the proper development of the anterior abdominal wall muscles posterior abdominal wall muscles gluteal muscles etc 
okay stabilization stabilization of the hip and stabilization of the vertebral column is very important once the baby is not developed this and previously if you are trying for the same it may lead to so many problems especially vertebral problems will be more okay so there may be different types of curvatures okay kyphosis scoliosis etc so same has been explained here also if you try for upaveshana samskara earlier or if you try upaveshana samskara in excess without practicing this slowly then there are so many complications what are they stymithyam stymithyam means stiffness okay so stiffness here it relates to different types of curvatures of the spinal cord with the weakness of the vertebral column so that is obvious once the vertebral column is not strong enough okay to maintain the position midline position and you are forcefully doing it definitely uh, there will be different curvatures developing because of this um, improper positioning okay so there may be scoliosis there may be skyphosis there may be lordosis or there may be uh, sometimes small vertebral fractures may be also there prishtabanga it is mentioned as prishtabanga now next one is kati daurbalyam again the curvatures and weakness of the lumbosacral area lordosis like conditions okay or sometimes there may be uh, dysplasia of the hip also okay then prishtabanga prishtabanga refers to fracture of the sacral bones or some other vertebral bones shama shama means child will have tiredness okay child is a six month old baby is not able to protect himself from any unwanted situation so it has to bear with it so it leads to shamatva okay jwara now due to exertion and as well as pain as it cannot protect himself from unhygienic materials etc and you have kept the baby on sitting position for example walker etc and you are doing your work okay now uh, but baby is not ready for that baby is feeling discomfort but baby baby cannot express it okay baby cannot express it so walker moves and baby also moves and mother is also happy but it is not like that baby may have discomfort uh, if it is uh, anatomically and uh, anatomically if it is not ready to take this challenge okay so that may lead to jwara also then anila samrodha anila samrodha means uh, this is something related to uh, 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 the passing of the flatters and all this get affected so they suggest that uh, there is some injury to the lumbosacral flexors because the bladder emptying now then um, defecation now these are all the branches which are coming from the lumbosacral flexors so when there is anila samrodha there is apanavayu samrodha so then um, it suggests that uh, there is some uh, injury has been happened to lumbosacral area because of this excess curvatures or maybe because of fractures etc admana admana again due to the paralytic ileus okay um, then asinasya arti there is pain when baby is sitting sitting becomes painful and causes sorrowful uh, sorrowness to the child some other important complications of excessive sitting or improper sitting or early sitting is instability of the body with the shaking movements yes child is not able to maintain the uh, midline position okay because the coordination and strength of the muscle has been not developed at okay so next there will be gatra bhedana gatra bhedana pain or injury to the body there may be then jarjarangatvam due to sustained pressure the body parts becomes very very weak vedana and jwara child may also develop vedana as well as jwara as i told depleted growth na vruddhi so child growth will be get affected na katorangatvam body parts are not hard very delicate and very soft okay or hypotonic you can say it is also hypotonic child child is having hypotonia hypotonic like muscle mass okay these are all the complications of a prolonged sitting Now, prolonged sitting provides an opportunity for macro and micro and micro organisms to invade, and the infant may become the victim of various diseases. This is a very important thing. You made the baby sit, and you went somewhere, as happens in case of walkers. Now, child cannot protect himself from these all hazards. Maybe uh, the wind, or it may be strong wind, strong heat, or any other unhygienic environment. Okay. Now, child is a victim of a different micro and macro organisms, and there may be chance of various disorders. Then, strong recurrent snakes. rats nakula makshika krimi kita can attack him he cannot protect himself it's six month old baby so here child is not able to secure himself as he is just learning this new developmental milestone so prolonged sitting is not indicated during the disease condition when afflicted by the disease and uh, and in an inauspicious day that means this samskara should not be done if the child is suffering from some disorders as earlier earlier also i told that all the samskaras are indicated only for the normal babies for the abnormal babies it is not indicated so here also if the baby is having some problem this samskara should not be done 
if the samskara is not done as for the age that itself suggests that child is not thriving well okay and it should not be also done uh, it should not be done even on a inauspicious day now in the same context of upaveshana samskara kashyap explains one more important things as i told that square area should be made in the square area different types of eatables gold silver money manika etc should be kept precious metals should be kept and similarly there should be some playing article should be also kept there okay some of the playing article should be also there because child will be naturally get attracted by the playing articles and it will by crawling it reaches the playing article it holds the playing article by the hand and in the meantime now it starts sitting okay so see see baby is crawling and it is reaching the playing article okay now to hold the playing article baby has to extend its arm or hand towards the playing article so when it holds the playing article naturally baby comes to the sitting position naturally baby comes to the sitting position okay so therefore playing articles were also kept in that particular square area so then when how i would say is that how this playing article should be made then by using the rice flour powder okay pishtamayani rice flour powder different playing articles should be prepared okay playing articles uh, uh, of the shape of the cow buffalo camels donkey monkey dog cat horse and different types of animals that has to be prepared see again they are very specific okay they are not giving uh, uh, telling to prepare a playing article which is having a terrific shape okay only the animal shape and some of the uh, some of the playing article should be of the bird shape okay bird shape then some of the playing article should be movable movable like ratha chakra griha yana shallika etc they move because child always because when the playing article is movable it creates it it it, it, it triggers the creativity of the child child also moves along with that try to catch it now these are all the different things which helps to identify the different developmental milestones of the child now playing articles which are most liked by the female kids like dolls should be also kept they are very specific for the female kid we have different set of playing articles because it depends upon the nature and attitude of the child the female they have got attraction to some specific playing articles like dolls and etc whereas male infant will have a specific uh, uh, attraction towards some of the playing articles like movable articles etc so then infant after giving bath get decorated by the ornaments clothes and as well as garlands made to sit in the middle of the square portion by facing towards the east and made to sit for the some time in the first day only for few seconds gradually increase the duration and so that child learns this particular skill and naturally develops the development milestone but it has to be initiated in the sixth month this procedure has to be initiated because it marks it by the end of the sixth month or by the beginning of the sixth month child has to sit to with the support this is very important now then he is allowed to choose the materials which is kept in the square area now the child has been kept there okay child is now crawling it is coming there child will be kept there so now child is allowed to come near the square area by crawling so it will come there now he or he may be attract she may be attracted towards the playing articles e tables and other important uh, precious materials which are kept there so child try to approach the materials like uh, toys uh, then e tables etc by crawling and holds it on both hands transfer it from one hand to another hand uh, and enjoy it see different development milestones that we are now testing here okay unidextrous approach bidextrous approach okay transferring the material from one hand to another hand usually it start by seventh month according to contemporary science okay so such different types of milestones will be tested by simple this procedure meantime the child slowly learns to sit from the crawling position to the sitting position with support so this automatically initiate the milestone of a sitting now playing articles and different other materials are kept there now <clears throat> uh, this upaveshana samskara is also used as an occasion to understand the future interest or inner interest or thrust of the baby in indian philosophy okay so they says that on the day of upaveshana samskara different materials are kept playing articles are kept pen is kept pencil is kept and different e tables are kept Every, different materials will be kept there now the family members they will watch which particular material the child will going to pick up for the first time 
first time in the upanishad samskara okay depending upon his the material that he has picked up the family members and experts who are gathered there so they will assess the future of the child how that means so suppose he is very he, he becomes a very good academician in future suppose so it's natural it's endowment you can say natural endowment or natural inner thirst that he will go and pick up some of the books okay so if he's become a, a very good sports person in future maybe he is picking up a specific sports uh, items or playing article there which is related to the sports okay so if he has got very good agni and he is very fond of eating and all those things he may first pick up the eating material okay so some musical things are there then he can pick up that particular uh, playing article which produces a sound so like this this occasion was used to assess the future profession and future life of the child of course this is one of the occasion which is used for this purpose in indian philosophy this is uh, practiced okay so later daily he should be practiced to sit and play with the playing articles under the supervision of the mother and other relatives and duration should be gradually increased so this is how they will made now in the meantime um so we will have a more detailed explanation about the playing articles which are mentioned here okay so uh, with this we conclude the first part of the upavashana samskara first part of the upavashana samskara and uh, in the upavashana samskara there are so many other things are also there and we can just complete this part clinical significance of upavashana samskara see uh, what is the clinical significance of upavashana samskara normally the growing child is able to sit with support by 5 to 6 month and this procedure is a method for checking the same this is one of the clinical importance okay this educate the parents regarding the exact method of sitting to be practiced on the day to day life then by slowly educating the child regarding the act of sitting at the age of 6 month ensures the proper development of the other milestones of locomotor system like standing walking at one year etc by 12 month child should start walk that's what is called told by kashyapa kashyapa says samvasarat upadishtate hai okay so sitting with support will be followed by other milestones of locomotor system like uh, uh, preceded by other milestones before sitting we will have creeping crawling etc and after sitting we will have sitting without support standing with support standing without support walking running etc now this is very important interface between so this is a time when the pincer grasp develops actually hence baby is able to enjoy the playing articles of course pincer grasp Uh, will uh, disappear uh, and the uh, palmar grass palmar grass will disappear and pincer grass will go into develop by 6 month of course the complete maturation of the pincer grass will take place by 12 months of age but by 6 month onwards it starts developing so this also helps to check so whether pincer grass has been developed or not so this can be tested when the baby is picking up particular material which is kept in the square area now playing article should be prepared with the floor uh of course that we will see a different playing articles has been also kept there and the playing article should be prepared with the floor of rice and wheat which has the following benefits okay so now uh required playing articles can be prepared as for the wish of the baby suppose if you are using the floor pishtamayam so then daily you can prepare new playing articles number 1 playing articles can be home made to bring the variety okay suppose you are bringing from the market every day you have to bring the newer one but here by using rice flour and wheat flour etc you can make the play, playing articles uh, to bring the variety daily so no risk of toxicity suppose if the baby puts the things inside the mouth also uh, all if it consumes to some extent also it is only the food material so there is no risk of uh, any particular toxicity allergy and chemical consumption etc it has got no risk even if the baby puts the playing articles into the mouth or eat it okay so it is easily disposable also so it's more scientific as a baby puts everything into the mouth during the oral phase actually by the 6 month of age onwards baby is running with the oral phase in the oral phase baby has a tendency to put everything inside the mouth okay it looks like a scientific easy cost effective safe comfortable method of providing the playing article so excessive sitting forceful sitting should be avoided as this is a developmental milestone and it has to be encouraged to attain naturally naturally upavashana should be done just as a stimulating factor and not forcefully practiced as i told earlier this is a primary point 
okay from here onwards you have to start educating very slowly complications of uh, excessive upavesana we have already seen so so this is about the importance of upavesana samskara one important topic which is left in that it's a playing articles and its significance in the child life that we will discuss in the uh, later classes okay so with this uh, i conclude it for today uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, also please give your valuable comments thank you very much we will meet in another class with uh, another samskara